ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Go Before You Don't and welcome to the incredible Niagara Falls. Yes, we're here at Niagara Falls. It's a very exciting day. As you can see from that very enthusiastic response. <laughs> well done, Khaleesi. Express joy. Fear. <laughs> Disappointment. <laughs> you should be an actor. And the Oscar goes to... Khaleesi for her random portrayal of emotions. This actually isn't the, the first big waterfall in the world that we've visited. We've also been to Iguazu Falls, Iguazu. which if you don't know, is uh, on the border of Argentina and Brazil. Argentina. Niagara Falls is on the border of Canada and the United States. Are all big world waterfalls just on the borders of places? I think they must be. No, Victoria's Falls isn't. Is it not? Do you know that for sure? Not for sure. Exactly. How would you compare this with Iguazu? They're both really beautiful, but Iguazu is surrounded by rainforest with lots of native birds and butterflies and this is like filled with ice and icebergs and snow, so they're like completely different. There's a lot of mist coming down now from the falls as we're getting closer to the, to the edge of the Horseshoe Falls. I was unaware of this and I was actually unaware that there's actually tunnels beneath the Horseshoe Falls of, of Niagara Falls. Apparently they've been there for over a hundred years and uh, this, this, uh, this company lets you do a little tour. I think it's like $15, we're about to find out. But uh, you, you head on down 125 meters uh, underneath the falls and you get to go through these tunnels. And I don't think it's a tour guide or anything, you just take your time and just, just uh, you know, go on a little adventure. So I'm just gonna scan your barcodes and then when the next uh, available elevator comes, So this tunnel that we're in just now was actually dug in 1944 because the original tunnels were, were eroding so quickly that at that point there was only 1.7 meters between the gorge and the tunnel that people were coming to see the falls in. So obviously that wasn't safe, so they dug this tunnel 60 feet further back. So uh, that's the tunnel that they're still using today and it's uh, pretty amazing down here. Definitely something that you should consider doing when you come to see the falls. Obviously, seeing them from above is great and getting your photographs up there. But learning about the history of somewhere when you go, I think is really good as well. There's loads of information and signs along these tunnels. Uh, it's very well lit and we're having a great time. How much water is flowing over, Khaleesi? I just read on this sign, it's 154 million liters every minute. That's enough to fill a whole million bathtubs. A million bathtubs. A whole million bathtubs. A whole million bathtubs. Oh my god. That's a lot of water. <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? What? When, when they're in Titanic and they hear the rumbling and they're like all oh, trying to get out and the guy's locked in the like underneath the basement thing where all the workers, or not the workers, but the lower class people are. Okay. And then they're like, God, help us, can we get out? We get out. And all the water's coming in and they're just like, ah, help us.
So the Niagara Falls themselves are exactly what I expected. Beautiful, incredible, powerful, all those adjectives. I knew what they were gonna be like. I didn't know what the town of Niagara Falls was gonna be like, so I just didn't know what to expect. I think in my head, I was expecting like a quaint little town. I don't know why, but I just thought it was gonna be like, uh, I don't know, like very nice and pleasant with like kind of old architecture and nice monuments and stuff like that. However, it is not like that at all. In fact, I'd go ahead and say it's the complete opposite of that. It's kind of like walking into Disney World in Orlando or like, you know that part at Universal Studios before you get into the main park? I don't remember what it's called. It's probably this. But that's what it feels like. There's haunted houses and Ripley's Believe It or Not. There's an upside down house. There's just, it's, it's just mental. I mean, it's, it's probably a great place to come if you've got kids. Like probably the same as like going to Disney World, they're gonna love it. There's so much for them to do and like arcades and just noise and it's just it's so noisy. And I can't tell if I like it or I don't like it. I, can't, I feel like I don't like it, but I can't tell if that's just because I wasn't expecting it. Because if I went to Orlando, it wouldn't bother me. Or if I went to Las Vegas and there was all this madness going on, it wouldn't bother me there either because, and I think that's because I expected to be there. But here, it's not what I expected. It's not really what I wanted. Felicia and I like to try and live as vegan as possible when we can. So coming to small towns is normally a bit difficult when you're looking for vegan options. But I, I can't remember being anywhere as difficult as Niagara Falls. It seems like every second building is a steakhouse and it's like signs saying things like, oh, you can eat ribs today and stuff like that. So we did, however, find a good place today. We went for lunch at a place called Foodworks. I think it was called Foodworks and uh, we had some really nice burgers there. They had a lunch special that was $12.97 for uh, a burger with fries and a, and a 16 ounce uh, drink as well, which was really good value. And we were wondering what we we're gonna do for dinner tonight. And uh, we've just realized that there is a place called Freshy here. And this is like a big, big franchise in Canada. We actually ate at the Freshy at the airport when we first landed in Toronto. And that's how we know that it has vegan options. It's weird because I was looking online on Google for best vegan options and it didn't even come up in the results, but we just spotted it down by the Hard Rock Cafe. If you're looking for some vegan options, you're always gonna find one at Freshy. It's just kinda like smoothies and juices, burrito bowls and lots of veggies and, and a good option for vegans. So we're just gonna grab something from here and head home. We're absolutely knackered after spending the day at the falls. Uh, our Airbnb has Netflix on the TV, so we're just gonna go home, enjoy some Netflix and chill. Not like that, come on, behave. All right, so we have got our dinner for the night. Some salad bowls. It's really hard to vlog here because literally every building has music playing outside of it, so it's so noisy here. Again, I didn't expect Niagara Falls town to be like this. It's such a tourist trap, but we've had a good time. We're uh, going back to Toronto tomorrow, so I think this was the perfect amount of time though. I wouldn't want to, I wouldldn't want to be staying yeah, here for an, an extra like day. A week, imagine. God, a week in Niagara Falls would be like extortionate first of all. <laughs> an extortionate punishment. Now we've seen the falls. We've we've actually seen a different perspective on the falls when we went underneath into the tunnels. It's been a good day, and now it's time to go back watch some Netflix. Push or get some chocolate.